In this video, I'm gonna break down how we use Google Ads Editor to build and launch YouTube ad campaigns faster than ever. More on that right after this. Okay, so for those of you who've been in the Google Advertising or the artist formerly known as AdWords game for a while, you've probably run across this tool called AdWords Editor or Google Ads Editor. And it's an awesome tool that helps media buyers work faster but it's kind of one of those tools that has a, um, you know, unless you're doing strictly search campaigns with all of the old and new targeting options that are available in there, just so you know the way that things get rolled out. Search gets everything first, because that's what Google has been built on, displays shortly after, and then YouTube's a long time after that. So Google Ads Editor is a great tool, especially if you're doing search and display campaigns, it allows you to build everything super quickly um, and go through and execute. YouTube takes a little longer to get the new features rolled in. So for instance, we're in the middle of 2019 and the target CPA campaign building options still aren't inside of Editor. So what I'm gonna do right now is walk you through how we use this tool. It's awesome for helping us quickly and easily duplicate and scale up the number of campaigns we're doing. I just wanna walk you through the process that we use to actually make sure this thing is useful. Um, so I'm gonna start here. This is where you come in and you download. If you just type in Google Ads Editor, you can come in and download this. It's a uh, software that's gonna live on your computer and allow you to work on your AdWords campaigns offline. So that way you can come in, get everything set up, get all the organization done that you need. Uh, then what you do is once you've finished it, you upload them into AdWords and they all get uploaded at the same time. They get approved and then you're on to the next one. That way you're not gonna having to deal with um, you know, the, uh, the ongoing approval cascades, if you've got something that starts too early or starts too late, all of that stuff, it all gets uh, uploaded at the same time and your campaigns will get approved and they'll run. Um, so basically how we do this is we start, we build a single shell inside of our, our Google Ads account. So I'm gonna show you how we go through and we set up a single shell campaign, very basic. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna download it to our Google Ads editor and then we can duplicate, make changes, do a bunch of stuff very quickly then we can come post it back in once we've completed. And so I'm gonna show you what that process looks like. So we'll start here. I'm just gonna come in and build a very simple campaign. We're just gonna call this our test campaign. Um, so this is going to be a new campaign. We're gonna do leads video. So this is a YouTube uh, target CPA campaign that we're building right now. And so essentially how we do this, we come in here and I'm just gonna do this. I always put YouTube, the name of the offer. So I'm just gonna call it ad skills. Um, and then whoever the media buyer was, so I'm doing this and then affinity audiences and we're gonna do home and garden. Uh, I'm just showing you because this is easy. I know this is off the top of my head. And then I typically put something along the lines of the CPA. So let's say it's $40. So we wanna spend $40. Uh, we're gonna do a target CPA campaign with a $40 target CPA. That's what we put in there. Um, YouTube videos, blah, 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 all the standard stuff. Ad schedule. So I'm going to come in and create my first ad group. This is once again the shell. So inside of the home and garden affinity audience group, I know that there's two uh, subcategories. So I'm going to type in home decor enthusiasts as this is. Let me just zoom in here to make sure you can see this. So home decor enthusiasts. We're just going to make sure we know that our target avatar is typically males between the ages of 40, or 25 and 45. Um, we'll let all those things ride. And then inside of here, if I do browse affinity home and garden, I've got home decor enthusiasts, so that's what we're gonna target. Um, and then we'll just come in and set up a basic ad. So I've got a video here pulled up. I'm just gonna paste this in. Let's say we're gonna do our podcast. Um, I would just do adskills.com. Call to action is subscribe. Whatever yours is, let's just, we're just gonna do it this way, okay? So we've got our, our basic ad unit and I'm just gonna call this episode one. Um, and so I'll click save and continue. And so now we'll have a basic ad campaign set up. Um, but once again, this is where we do everything. We know that we've gone through and set it up correctly. I always start inside the tool because I want to make sure with YouTube, all the settings are correct. That way when I download them, they're, they're leveraged the exact same way. And then when I upload them back, I know that they're going to have the same settings because they were downloaded from the original UI. So now that I've got this in here, what I'm doing is I'm going to head over to my editor uh, account. And so what you'll be able to see here, I'm gonna go into accounts and then we're going to get recent changes. And I wanna get recent changes of all of our campaigns. So it's gonna come in here and it's gonna download. We should have, I had three old campaigns and then the one new one. So, okay, I've got my affinity audience, home and garden 40. If I click into this, so when you look, where you're looking inside of this tool, let me zoom in here to see if I can make this better for you. 
Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in here on the video itself instead of zooming into the tool. But essentially what we're looking at right now is the account level. So we can look at all the accounts. So I've got one account, no shared libraries. I've got custom rules built inside of them. I've got all these things in here. Um, and then what we look at are the campaigns. We have the ability to look at the ad group level. We have the ability to look at the keywords and the targeting. So this is essentially everything that we can target on Google. Um, and so what I really look at most often, audiences right now, we've got, whoops. So we've got home decor enthusiasts. We've got genders, we've got negative genders. So I said I want males, not females or unknown, ages 25 to 44, and then the negatives are in here. So you can come in and look at all these things, and then you can look at your ads. So I've got in here, I've got one TrueView in-stream video ad for episode one. So essentially those are the ways that we can come through and slice up our campaigns. So I'm gonna come back up here to the campaign level. You can click on which campaign you're looking at. I'm just looking at this one. And what I wanna do right now is I wanna come in and I wanna set up a second ad group. So all I'm gonna do is click Control C and then Control V. I now have a second ad group. And I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna rename this Do It Yourselfers because that's the other type of targeting inside of the affinity um, audience category for home and garden. But so while I've renamed it, I still have the same targeting in there. So I'm gonna click on this one and we're gonna look at audiences. And so you can see right here, I've named it do-it-yourselfers, but I still have the uh, audience that I'm targeting is home decor enthusiasts. So if I click on this, all I have to do is change this to do-it-yourselfers, and now it should be updated. So if, once again, we come back up here to the campaign level, we've got two ad groups. We've got home decor and do-it-yourselfers, and the targeting inside of them, I now have home decor and do-it-yourselfers. So that makes things pretty simple, but now I wanna duplicate this. Let's just control C, control V, so now I have a second one, um, and I'm just gonna call this, we'll just do travel. And so inside of this, um, I know for the ad groups, I'm just gonna do a single one. So we know inside of here, if we open this up, we've got home and gardens up there, um, travel. So I'm gonna delete one of these, and then I'm just gonna rename this one to travel buffs, because I know that's another option that's available to me. So if I click inside of there, and I come down here to our audiences, and, whoops, I did that again. So we're looking inside of here. We're looking at travel, travel buffs. I need to change this targeting. So all I'm gonna do is close this one, come down here to travel, and I'm gonna use travel buffs, okay. And so now that should be updated. So what I have now, if we come back up here to the top level, I have two campaigns, home and garden, travel, I should have three ad groups, home decor, do it yourself, and travel buffs. These two were created in here. And then I've got my ads that are you know, um, already duplicated inside of those. So now what I wanna do is, you've seen me do this, this is a pretty basic example, but now at this point, what I wanna do is I wanna go post all of the changes back to the AdWords account. So I'm gonna click post, and I'm gonna select all campaigns. So it's gonna post four campaigns, the two that we, we have two that we made, and then that we deleted, I got rid of the other ones. Um, two ad groups, etc. So I'm just going to click post. And so now it's going to go through and post all these back to our Google Ads account. And so that's finished. If I come back in here and I click refresh, we should now have two campaigns set up in here. One's home and garden, one is travel buffs. So we've got home and garden and travel. Inside of these, there should be two ad groups in this one. Home decor enthusiasts and do-it-yourselfers, and the ads inside of those, we should have two of the exact same ad. Bingo. And then inside of this one, we should have a single ad group, travel buffs, with a single ad, the same as the other ones in there. So perfect, everything's gone on that we need to have happen. So I hope you see how we use this tool. Now the thing I wanna point out about this, so one thing that's really important, let's say I duplicate this one, and let's say, this one is going to be, we're gonna call this 25 to 44. And then let's say I wanna do one that's 45 to 65 plus. So let's, if I come in here and I'm looking at our targeting, that's what I'm gonna be focused on with this one. So now we've got ages. So if we change this, I'm gonna change this one to 45 to 54. 
I'm going to change this one to 55 to 64. So what you're going to see here are these red circles. And if you click on these, it says the age is the same as the negative age in this ad group. So the one thing that you have to understand is sometimes when you change your targeting, you also have to go in and update your negative targetings. So we've targeted 45 to 54. So I want to change this to 25 to 34 and then 35 to 44 because that was the targeting in the other ad group. So now what we've got is in the 25 to 44, we're negatively targeting 18 to 24, 45 to 54, 55 to 64, 65 plus and unknown. All we did was swap out 18 to 24 and 25, to, or sorry, all we did was swap out 25 to 34 and 35 to 44. So this is the biggest thing that you have to make sure that you do when you're using editor is understanding how your things, how your targeting is going to update um, based off of, um, you have to go through and change your negatives if you're gonna change one of the positives. Outside of that, it's a pretty simple tool to use. That's really the biggest uh, thing that we see people run into. If you have any questions, if any of this didn't make sense, please leave a comment below. You can obviously hit me up in Pro League and I can walk you through specifics inside of your campaign. Outside of that, hope you have an awesome day and start to leverage Google Ads Editor to make your campaign creation process on YouTube a lot easier. Talk soon. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button on the screen right now. Also, if you'd like to join the Daily Edge and get the daily dose of what's working in paid traffic and tracking, you can text Daily Edge to 44222.